Hello, Pastor Skyler, Berean Baptist Church here. I was getting some exercise this afternoon and thinking about our passage tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be in Matthew chapter 13, looking at the parable of the sower and the seed. There's something about the passage and really Matthew's parables that I wanted to share with everybody as we begin this really neat part of the gospel. And it doesn't fit the, um, it doesn't fit the message real well tomorrow, so I thought I'd do it as a standalone thing again. And let me show you this, some insights from Jesus' method of teaching. Like, how does Jesus teach? If you're a teacher, this is very relevant to you. But also if you're a student, and I believe we should all constantly be learning, we can learn a lot simply from how Jesus teaches. So four very basic insights from the Gospels. Jesus broadcasts a very wide message, but he focuses on those who want to hear. Jesus' energy and emotional attention is focused on the students who want to learn. And that tells us a lot about how we should be teachers. And it also tells us that we should be students who want to learn so that good teachers gravitate towards us. Jesus is constantly using the natural world in everyday situations. Uh, tomorrow night, we're going to be taking a sort of a thousand foot view of the, pro of the parables. And what you'll see is almost all of them are about the natural world or business because Jesus is constantly looking to put the cookies on the low shelf and explain things in terms that people deal with every day. There's something else to this though. If you go through the Old Testament, especially Job, Proverbs, and the wisdom books of the Old Testament, you see that we're constantly referred to the natural world to learn things. I think there's more to this than just a pragmatic aspect. I think that there's something about the natural world that is intrinsically instructive, and we can learn a lot simply from living in nature. Something else Jesus constantly does is he provokes questions. Jesus doesn't teach simple closed book lessons. He ends his lessons very often open-ended and he invites interpretation. Look at the end of the uh, parable of the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15 as an example of that. And then lastly, stories. Most of your Old Testament, stories. Most of the New Testament, stories. Jesus teaching, full of story. Jesus understands that storytelling is the essential method of teaching and spiritual formation. Stories are not just illustrations and they're not just something you give so that you earn the attention of people for the really important bit. The story is very often the lesson. And as teachers, we should look for ways to make our lessons into compelling stories because we live in a story. And the whole point of the gospel is that the author of the great story of history has written himself into the story, which is super cool. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Pastor Schuyler, Berean Baptist Church, looking forward to tomorrow when we're going to be in the gospel of Matthew chapter 13. And look forward to seeing you there. God bless.